step into the eerie atmosphere of 1963 Seconds Black Sabbath, a film that has left an indelible mark on the horror genre. Beneath the surface of this cinematic classic lie lesser known facts and anecdotes that add a layer of intrigue. Have you ever wondered about the behind the scenes tales that unfolded during its creation? What makes Black Sabbath endure as a symbol of the film industry's prowess? Is it the timeless fear it instills or the narrative choices that continue to resonate? The film stands as a testament to the industry's ability to captivate audiences across generations. As you reminisce about this cinematic gem, what cherished memories or personal experiences do you hold? We invite you to share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Your unique perspective adds depth to the legacy of Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath, a 1963 Italian horror anthology film directed by Mario Bava, weaves together three distinct tales of terror with an overarching eerie atmosphere. The film opens with Boris Karloff introducing the stories, creating a sinister ambience that sets the tone for the unfolding narratives. The first segment, The Drop of Water, follows a nurse who steals a valuable ring from a deceased medium, leading to a series of haunting occurrences. The second, The Telephone, revolves around a woman receiving threatening calls that unravel a dark secret from her past. The final story, The Wurjulak, delves into the chilling folklore of the Wurjulak, a vampiric creature that preys on its own family. Bava's masterful direction, coupled with the haunting cinematography and atmospheric soundtrack, contributes to the film's lasting impact on the horror genre. Black Sabbath stands as a classic example of Italian Gothic horror, influencing subsequent generations of filmmakers and leaving an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape. Its innovative storytelling and visual style continue to resonate, making it a landmark in the evolution of horror cinema. In the Word You Lack segment of the 1963 movie Black Sabbath, Boris Karloff's intense portrayal is matched by a unique origin. It's based on a novella written by Alexei Konstantinovich Tolstoy, second cousin of Leo Tolstoy, author of War and Peace. This connection adds a literary layer to the chilling folklore explored in the film. Interestingly, during this segment, watch closely, and you'll notice that Boris Karloff, in his role, almost never blinks. This deliberate choice by the actor adds a subtle yet impactful element to the atmospheric tension. Moving to the telephone, another segment of the film, it holds the distinction of being the first Italian thriller to be shot in color. This shift in visual style enhances the suspense and darkness of the narrative, marking a notable moment in the evolution of Italian horror cinema. These intriguing facts about the segments, from literary ties to meticulous acting choices, and a groundbreaking shift in color usage, highlight the depth and innovation present in the 1963 movie Black Sabbath. Such details contribute to the film's enduring impact on the horror genre, showcasing the thoughtfulness and creativity of the filmmakers involved. In conclusion, whether it's delving into Tolstoy's influence, Karloff's nuanced performance, or the groundbreaking use of color in the telephone, Black Sabbath remains a pivotal work in Italian Gothic horror, resonating with audiences and leaving a lasting mark on cinematic history. Italian censorship visa 40,988 delivered on the 12th of August 1963. Black Sabbath, a 1963 Italian horror film by Mario Bava, obtained its Italian censorship visa, 40,988, on August 12, 1963. This milestone marked the official approval for public screening, allowing audiences to experience the cinematic trio of terror. The visa not only signifies regulatory clearance, but also reflects the film's adherence to the standards and norms of the time. Such certifications were crucial for the distribution and exhibition of films, ensuring they reached audiences as intended by the filmmakers. This formal approval paved the way for Black Sabbath to enter the public sphere, captivating viewers with its anthology of horror tales. Beyond its intrinsic cinematic value, the film's regulatory green light is a testament to its compliance with the cinematic regulations of 1963 Italy. 
From the ominous introduction by Boris Karloff to the chilling narratives woven by Bava, the film's journey from the censorship board to the silver screen is an integral part of its historical context. Moreover, this regulatory nod contributed to the film's longevity, allowing it to persist in cultural memory and influence subsequent generations of filmmakers. In fact, one noteworthy example is the impact it had on Quentin Tarantino and Roger Avery while crafting their iconic film, Pulp Fiction. The legacy of Black Sabbath extends beyond its initial release, shaping the horror genre and inspiring cinematic minds for years to come. Additionally, in 2006, Black Sabbath found a new audience when it was re-released on DVD as part of the Mario Bava collection by Paradiso Home Entertainment. This reissue, the second film in the collection, reintroduced the classic to viewers, cementing its place in the annals of horror cinema. In conclusion, the 1963 Italian horror film Black Sabbath, with its censorship visa 40,988, not only conquered regulatory hurdles, but also left an indelible mark on the horror genre. From its initial approval to its enduring influence, the film continues to be a significant chapter in cinematic history. Released in the U.S. by American International Pictures on a double bill with The Evil Eye in 1963, Black Sabbath underwent significant alterations for Western audiences. Directed by Mario Bava, the film originally had two distinct versions, Bava's original Italian cut and the AIP version. To appeal to Western markets, AIP made substantial changes, including modifying Boris Karloff's introductions, reordering the story sequence, providing a new score, and even re-editing certain scenes. One of the most notable changes occurred in the telephone segment, where AIP removed all references to lesbianism and prostitution, replacing them with a supernatural element. Furthermore, the Italian and AIP cuts differ visually, with the former being brighter and more vibrant. Interestingly, the Blu-ray release in Europe offers both versions and extensive special features, while in North America, the cuts are sold separately with limited additional content. The title itself, Black Sabbath, pays homage to Bava's previous success, Black Sunday, made for IP. The distributors aim to capitalize on the earlier hit's popularity by selecting a title reminiscent of it. This strategic move reflected the film industry's marketing considerations and the desire to build on past successes. The film's release on a double bill with the evil eye further shaped its reception and audience exposure. This pairing, orchestrated by AIP, contributed to Black Sabbath's place in the cinematic landscape of 1963. The film's journey from its Italian origins to its modified Western release showcases the dynamic nature of film adaptation for different markets. In conclusion, the 1963 movie Black Sabbath's dual versions and strategic title choice reveal the intricacies of adapting films for international audiences. The alterations made by AIP and the film's double bill release with The Evil Eye are integral aspects of its historical context, underscoring the industry's efforts to appeal to diverse viewer preferences. As we bid adieu to the haunting echoes of the 1963 cinematic masterpiece, Black Sabbath, let us not merely close the book but instead embark on a journey through the corridors of our own memories. Much like the intricate layers of the film itself, our personal connections to this timeless classic unfold in mysterious ways, leaving imprints on the tapestry of our cinematic soul. As the credits roll and the shadows of Mario Bava's directorial brilliance linger, I invite you to reflect on the indelible moments that resonate within you. Was it the chilling suspense that clung to your senses, or perhaps the ethereal beauty of the cinematography that transported you to a realm where darkness and elegance danced in a macabre waltz? In this age of streaming and pixels, Black Sabbath stands as a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Its eerie tales are not confined to the screen but weave themselves into the fabric of our own narratives. How has this film left its mark on your personal odyssey? What emotions does it evoke when you revisit its frames? This is an invitation not merely to consume, but to Shirito open the vaults of your memories and let the whispers of Black Sabbath reverberate through the chambers of discussion. Share your favorite moments, your musings, and the very essence of what makes this film a timeless companion in the labyrinth of your cinematic journey. Thank you for taking this reflective sojourn with us. 
Your thoughts are the echoes that resonate in the halls of collective memory, enriching the tapestry of shared experience. Until our narratives intertwine again, stay enchanted, stay curious, and may the shadows of Black Sabbath continue to cast their spell over the recesses of your imagination.